Hello everyone, welcome to example of physics. In this video, we are going to deal with the topic refraction of light. These questions are for practice and at the level of class 10. You know what? These questions were sent by one of you. If you to have any doubts in any concept or you are facing difficulty in solving questions, send them to me. I will try to make a video solution as soon as possible. The next question is, a ray of light passes from air to glass, here n is equal to 1.5. What is n? Just now we have studied, n is also used to represent refractive index. So I am writing refractive index as mu, if you want you can write n, not a problem. Here the light is travelling from where to where, air to glass, hence this is refractive index of glass. How much is that? 1.5. Next, when it is passing, its angle is 30 degrees. This is called as angle of incidence and I will write angle of incidence as I. Now we have to calculate what is angle of refraction. Now how to, how to measure angle of incidence and angle of refraction? For that, look at the diagram. In the diagram, you can see the li this is light. This is incident ray. This point is point of incidence. So if I write this, if I name this as P and the point of incidence as O, PO becomes, PO is my incident ray. That is the ray falling on the interface. So let us name the interface as x, y, the boundary between say according to our question outside medium is air and inside medium is glass. Hence the interface, the interface x, y is the boundary between air and the glass. Now in order to write angle of incidence what we need is we need to draw an imaginary line. The imaginary line is drawn in such a way that it is perpendicular to the interface at the point of incidence. That is very important. So this imaginary line MN which is perpendicular to interface at point of incidence this is line is called as normal normal is like a reference line all the angles are measured from normal remember normal is imaginary so the angle between the incident ray and the normal this is called as angle of incidence and similarly another angle which is from normal to reflected ray or reflected ray to normal this is called as angle of refraction so angle of refraction i'm writing it as r angle of incidence angle of refraction both are measured from normal if you have understood this then there are some laws of refraction like there were laws of reflection if you have if you remember them there are some laws of refraction in that one law is important here that law is called as Snell's law this law has been established experimentally so we have to understand what is this law this law says that for a given two media here what are the media one is air the other one is the glass for the given two media sign angle of incidence and sine angle of refraction are in fixed ratios that is sine in sine angle of the ratio of sine angle of incidence and sine angle of refraction is constant for given two media and further this constant is equal to 
refractive index refractive index of what the refractive index of the medium now remember here the light is traveling from where the light is traveling from air to the light is traveling from air to glass so angle of incidence is in air angle of refraction is in glass so the refractive index of glass is equal to sin i by sin r now what are we supposed to find here we are supposed to find r so we know simple mathematics let us send sin r to the other side what is left sin r is equal to sin r is equal to sin i by mu g how much is sin i sin i is 30 degrees given in the equation and refractive index is 1.5 this 1.5 i don't like to write numbers in decimal so what i'll do is i'll write in fraction 1.5 can be written as 15 by 10 or 3 by 2 i like writing in fractions it's your wish where any way you can write so this is equal to 3 by 2 now sin 30 is 1 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 what are we going to get we will get 1 by 2 into 2 by 3 this is equal to 1 by 3 so what is established at the end sin r is equal to 1 by 3 now what are we supposed to find out we are supposed to find out the angle of refraction so how to get it you have to find out the value of r for which sin r is 1 by 3 so for this we can write r is equal to sin inverse of 1 by 3 and what is the value of sin inverse of 1 by 3 that will be given in the equation i have used a calculator and you can see its value is around so if you cannot see the value let's let me show it okay now this is a sine inverse 1 by 3 so sine inverse 1 by 3 is how much this is r pardon my handwriting so r is equal to 19.47122063 i'll just keep it to two digits so 19.47 degrees you don't have to worry about the values of sine some basic values like 0 30 45 60 and 90 degrees is enough for class 10th and if you get any other values like here sine inverse of 1 by 3 and all those values will be given in the equation itself so no need to worry so that is writing refractive index from Snell's law Snell's law says sin i by sin r is equal to mu m so that's one more concept and one more question completed still if you have any doubts you can write them in the comment section i'll make another video in order to make you understand this much better and if you have really enjoyed it watching learning then please subscribe the channel we'll and be meeting with yet another video soon bye bye